everybody, Mackenzie from Fanfare in Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's time for new books this week. We're going to start with some fun manga for you. First off, we have the Dracula, the hashtag DRCL. It's getting close to the end of that awesome manga adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. We also have Dungeon People number four, Fool Knight, book number two. We have Haikyuu, book four, five, and six, Omnibus, all packed together. We got a couple number ones for you. This is I Abandoned My Engagement Because My Sister Is a Tragic Heroine, But Somehow I Became Entangled with a Righteous Prince. Whoa. You got to read that to find out what it's all about. We got Kurokaya Wants to Lead Him Around by the Nose, book number one. Uh, we have a new Sailor Moon graphic novel here. I'm sorry, manga. This is The Pretty Guardian, volume number 10. We have Spoil Me, Please, Pizza, <laughs> Spoil Me, Please, Hinamari-san. That is a number one. And to tie it all together, who cares about any of that stuff when you've got Tank Chair lining up for battle? It's going to be good stuff. I hope. I can't wait to read it. We have uh, moving on to the independence. Beneath the trees where no one sees. It has its paperback. Finally, a super fast sellout. Awesome stuff. It's really cool. Uh, horror, murderous st animals. It's crazy. I don't even know. We also have uh, Beyond the Pale, book number four of four. We have The Body Trade, a new number one here from Mad King Comics. We have The Calaguera, book number one. We also have Damned People, episode two. Uh, Epitaphs from the Abyss is hitting it again with book number three. Lots of fun covers, as always, to choose from with those. Exciting Comics, number 46. Fire and Ice has a new volume there with number three. We have uh, Guilt Frame, a new storyline from Matt Kent and his wife, uh, Margie Craft Kent. And boom, we got a big lineup here from the main man himself, just in time for Spooky Season. This is the Graveyard Club, reminiscent of uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Awesome stuff. It's R.L. Stein anthology horror. You can't go wrong. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Over here, we got Holmes Houdini, The Curse of Moriarty. We also have Huge Detective, book number two. He's a big boy. We got Joy Operations, number four. Uh, this is Kusher Mafia, book number two. Lawful, number four. Mark Spears, Monster, number one. Just want to highlight some of these cool covers here. You got the Infinity Gauntlet stuff, classic throwbacks. I love those. The uh, Hulk 340, really cool stuff. Awesome art on the interior as well. The Masked, uh, masked Mucker. <laughs> um, Yiddish for Big Shot, it says. Okay. Um, we also have Mr. Lovestein Presents Feelings. I like it. We have Paranoid Gardens, book number three, Resurgence from the Valiant Universe, a new number one of four. Check that out. Sir from number, uh, mission number two. TMNT uh, with its only storyline side thing going on right now. It's a t uh, the Mutant Nation. This was in the issue zero. It's showing the Chris Burnham stuff with Old Hob, and it's going to be a really great tie-in. Awesome stuff. Cool covers, of course, to choose from. Many variants in there. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Demon Hunter, number three of four. How can he do it? We have the writer book number three, and that ties together the indie comics for the week. On to the image. We have the Cowl 1964, number one reprint, as well as issue number two. Um, we also have Maria Lovett's Crave. Two covers to choose from with the paperback. We also have Destro, book number four here for you. Falling in Love on the Path to Hell, number four. And G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 310. And the Real American Hero paperback from Larry Hama. Good stuff. We have the Hot Paprika hardcover. We also have the Ice Cream Man, issue number 41. Uh, from the main man, Daniel Warren Johnson, we got The Moon is Following Us. Cannot wait to check this out. This guy is a stamp of approval usually on all of his books he puts out. We have the Power Fantasy, issue number two. Um, just a heads up on that, there was a printer shortage of that. So we'll have most of the copies coming in next week. We only have this uh, lonely cover C out there, but we're going to have all of it soon. So hang tight for that. Spawn's Rat City, book number six, as well as Spawn's Salmon Twitch Case Files, book number six. The Tin Can Society, and we're on the eighth printing of Transformers, issue number one. Ultra Mega is back, baby. Some of the best kaiju romp stomp action you can possibly get. I love this book. It's fantastic. Pick up the favorite back, get yourself up up to date on it, and read one hell of a good time. What do we got here? It's Void Rivals, issue number one. This is the Skybound Gold 10th printing. Oh, my gosh. And then we have the 10th regular printing of it here with, like, eight covers to choose from. It's insanity. But there's some really cool stuff there on the show. We have The Walking Dead, number 97, and Tide Image all together. It is Witchblade. Number three. Cool Marvel stuff to show you this week. Let's see what we got. We're looking at the Amazing Spider-Man effects simile copy of issue number 260. We have the Avengers featuring Super Cod Peace Man. We have Dazzler number one. Lots of cool covers. Uh, highlights on that one. Holy guacamole. I love it. We've got uh, Deadpool issue number six as well as Deathlock number one. Guys hitting the scene again. It's been a long time. We have the Incredible Hulk number 17. 
uh, the Incredible Hulk Epic Collection, as well as the She-Hulk All-In paperback for the new storyline. We have Spider-Boy Annual right there. Spider-Man Black Suit and Blood, book number two, as well as Spider-Society number two. Here we have Spirits of Vengeance number one, new storyline for that, really cool. Um, of course, coverage juice from up top. We have Star Wars Darth Vader with its series grand finale, issue number 50. Um, we have Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, the Veermox Vengeance. We also have Ultimate Spider-Man number seven with its second printing, and a Star Wars Thrawn Alliances. Here we're back up top. Ultimate X-Men issue number seven. We have Venom War number one with its second printing, as well as the Venom the Saga of Eddie Brock paperback. For the Venom War tie-ins this week, we have Venom War Deadpool, Lethal Protectors, and Venomous issue number two. Uh, what if Donald Duck became Wolverine with its second printing up top, as well as Wolverine Deep Cut book number three. Over here we have X-Factor number two and X-Men number four. Lots to choose from there, include this super rad uh, Atomic Breath Godzilla and Cyclops beam. Very cool. And up top, another David Mack. This is the uh, Spider-Man portfolio. Well, it's not just Spider-Man, but it's a bunch of beautiful, beautiful David Mack art, and you absolutely cannot go wrong with that stuff. On to DC Comics. We've got Absolute Power Super Sun, Batman by Grant Morrison, book number one, kind of compiling all of that crazy stuff. It's an incredible read of Grant Morrison stuff if you can sit down and pile through all of it at once. Top notch. We have Batman Superman World's Finest, um, Catwoman number 68, Crisis on Infinite Earths number, number six, The Dark Knights of Steel All Winter issue number three, Detective Comics, The Gotham Nocturne Act Two, again with paperback out at the same time. I love this. We have the Jay Garrick The Flash paperback as well. Jenny Sparks issue number two. John Constantine, Hellblazer, Dead in America, book number nine. The Joker, The World. This dude's taking a trip across the con uh, across the world. It's fantastic. We have Multiverses based on the video game. They're the Collision Detective miniseries. We also have Superman. It's an absolute power tie-in, power tie book number 18. We have Wonder Woman, number 13. And variants for Wonder Woman. It's on to some media comics. Check it out. We got Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, number six of six from Gatchaman. We have the Galactor, number two of four. Godzilla War for Humanity paperback. Just a quick highlight. This is uh, pretty much some of my favorite art the entire year so far. This really fun storyline, too. Uh, Jim Henson's Labyrinth, book number one. We have Rick and Morty, Youth and Rick Volt, book number two. Star Wars, again, with those two titles from before. Thundercats Chitara, book number three. I'm going all the way down to Tiny Tina's Wonderland, Land of Giants, tie into the Borderlands. So, check it out. There's stuff in the way. We don't even have it up for Celia. I'll show you all in a minute. The Babysitter's Club has a paperback there. We also have Hex Vets, uh, Darkwing Duck's Nega Duck, The Powerpuff Girls, book number three, Rocket and Group, Tales of Terror, as well as Sonic the Hedgehog, book number 73. TMNT uh, with his Saturday Morning Adventures, book number 17. A couple of really cool vinyls to show you. I'm not, I'm sorry, a paperback for Saturday Morning Adventures as well. A couple of variants. This is the Scon 1 in 25 variant for the Amazing Fact Simile. We also have the J. Scott Campbell version variant 1 in 100. We have these really cool little chibi cutesy Pac-Man Sanrio ones. We also have these mini Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man uh, rubber duckies. Gotta love that. We have the Funko Fusion He-Man, including the chase. And then buckle up for the uh, number one horror icon of modern time, Ark the Clown from the Terrifier franchise. We have plenty of pops for that to get you ready for the spooky season. And then we got some band presto stuff. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. We also have uh, a couple of Dragon Ball figures as well as Naruto. Bear with me for a moment while I chuck some other stuff up here on the counter. We have a One Piece character. And we have three flavors of America's favorite kaiju boy, Gojira himself. Gotta love it. So thank you for watching, everybody. Um, if you have any questions, our number is 269-349-8866. Take care and have a good night.